hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be creating this really cool abstract typography animation inside of DaVinci Resolve so let's get started let's start by dragging in our fusion composition onto the timeline and then let's go to the fusion page where we will be creating this animation the first thing we'll do is right click and make sure that the origins tools are set to create and then we're just going to add in our text plus node so just drag that and just view this node by dragging it into the viewer and then we can just type in anything that we want I'm going to type in typography and I'm going to make sure that this text is placed in the top left corner of this window somewhere over here and I want to have a background behind this so I'm going to hit the space bar and uh, I'm just going to type in BG for background and click on add and uh, let's take a look at this merge node on the right side now for the color for the background color i'm going to set this to white so make sure you click on the background and set the color to white and uh, on the merge right click on it and click on swap inputs so that the background is behind our text and make sure that the text color is set to black like that all right uh, select this text one and here's the space bar and i don't know why this window keeps popping on my second monitor but uh, we're just going to type in dup for duplicate so select that and click on add this will add a duplicate node to your flow and we're just going to select this duplicate node view this on the second monitor here and we're going to change the number of copies to three and we are going to change the center x as well so we're just simply creating more copies of the text as you can see it doesn't fill up the entire area we have some space over here on the right side so let's try to fix this by going back to the text and we're just going to increase the font size and uh, we can increase the tracking amount as well and then let's go back to the duplicate node and change the center x again and uh, i think that looks pretty okay just make sure that this text is visible so let's go back and just change the positioning like so okay that looks good let's add another duplicate after this duplicate node the first one and uh, click on add type in duplicate and click on add and uh, the flow <laughs> is going in the opposite direction so let me just disconnect this for a moment and let's just work like so make sure that the flow is on the right side uh, i just like it flowing onto the right side but anyways select this duplicate node and uh, change the copies to let's do 10 and uh, let's view this duplicate two on the right side and change the center y like that and uh, you can see everything is looking fine no text is getting cropped up uh, we can also go to the text and just move it a little bit up like that all right perfect now the next thing we are going to do is after this duplicate node we are going to add in a transform node Say spacebar and type in XF and click on add. Now on this transform node, make sure that the edges is set to wrap because if we change the center X, let's view this transform node, you can notice that we have this empty area when we change the position. But if we set the edges to wrap, it's going to keep it seamless. And that's exactly what we want. I'm just going to go to the very first frame. Let's set this to default create a keyframe on center x go to the very end and change the position on the x like so so we have a really simple animation now you can notice that the space here is a little less than this area over here so i want to make sure that on the second duplicate we change or on the first duplicate we change the center x and just try to have the equal space in our text like so All right after the transform we are going to add um, another node which is going to be shape 3d click on add let's take a look at this and this is how it is going to look okay now we can plug in our background into this text so like this and connect it like so all right on this shape 3d we can change the shape to a cylinder and we can increase the base and the height subdivision and we can 
reduce the radius let's set this to 0 0.5 but you can obviously play around with the, the values and this is how it is going to look all right and it has the animation as well now i need two more cylindrical shapes so what i'm going to do is select this shape 3d it's your space bar and uh, again we can type in this time i'm going to type in merge 3d click on add and let's put it over here and let's select this shape 3d again and this time we're going to click on this icon which will do the same thing it will add a merge 3d like so and i want to make sure that it is not connected in this way make sure the shape 3d is connected to both of these merge 3d nodes so we have our first shape the second shape and the third shape and uh, we want all these three, three shapes to be visible at once so we need one more merge 3d to combine all these shapes so i'm going to connect this up like so connect this one and connect this one as well so if we take a look at this merge 3d you won't see any difference because all these three shapes are in the same position so if i just go to the merge 3d which is at the top go to the transform and change the x position you can see that we have another shape over here i want to make sure that they kind of overlap one another uh, just make sure that there is no gap in between and do the same thing with this merge 3d which is at the bottom transform and change the x position after this we are going to add a renderer 3d node so we can type in renderer 3d click on add let's take a look at it this is how it is going to look we're going to go back to our shape 3d and go to transform change the x position which will change the position of all these three cylindrical shapes i'm also going to zoom back in the z space like so and again change the position and just keep playing with these values till you get the to get the perfect angle on this so i think that looks fine and you can just play this again and turn off high quality and motion blur as well so that the preview is a little bit smoother so there you go you have this nice animation going on now we can further improve on this by adding a really simple effect but it just makes your animation really stand out so after this render 3d we will add a background node so select this node render 3d and add a background node by clicking on the very first icon let's move this to the top and uh, like so so if we take a look at this merge tool drag it and uh, we're just going to select this background and we are going to add a rectangle mask on this so click on this icon to add a rectangle mask we'll just increase the height actually let's go beyond one so let's do 1.3 or something like that and uh, we can reduce the width as well and we will increase the soft edge like so and i'm just going to place this in between these cylinders so the first one will go over here and just go and just zoom in and just be like you know precise with this positioning and you can make it even more darker by increasing the border width so i'm gonna keep it at 0 0.01 let's move this triangle uh, sorry the rectangle one to the top like so and i'm gonna copy and paste it and just move it on the second intersection which is right over here looks fine and create another copy this one will go to the left edge over here like that and uh, create one more which will go to the right edge so somewhere over here all right so there you go that's how easy it is to create this rolling kinetic typography animation whatever you want to call it i hope this video was helpful if it was then please do make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one